dark matter and dark energy. Deeply studied for centuries, the universe still hides plenty of secrets. Even its composition remains a mystery. The Earth, the planets, the Sun, stars, galaxies. What is the universe made of? One of the most surprising discoveries of the last century is that ordinary matter makes up only 5% of the universe. 25% is made up of a mysterious substance called dark matter. The remaining 70% is made up of a mysterious form of energy called dark energy. It's gravity that allowed scientists to discover dark matter. The stretchy sheet represents space. Any object with mass deforms space, just like a marble creating a dimple on its surface. This curvature of space causes objects to interact, often by moving towards each other, a fact seen as gravity, a natural consequence of the influence of mass on space. Scientists have measured the mass of a nearby cluster of galaxies by summing the individual mass of each visible galaxy. By doing so, they measured the mass, and this wasn't enough for accounting of all of the gravity that instead they were seeing holding the, the cluster together. So there must have been some extra invisible mass in the cluster that was generating such extra gravity. And this is exactly what we call dark matter. Let's prepare two sets of marbles representing some visible matter, like a cluster of galaxies. The mass of both sets is the same. Let's check how the marbles from the first set bend the sheet. In theory, this is how much gravity is created by the galaxy cluster. In the other scenario, we prepare an extra heavyweight and hang it by a string below the middle of the sheet. This represents some extra invisible mass that we cannot observe. Although the marbles from the second set have the same mass as the first, the curvature of space is deeper. The second set represents the same gravity cluster, but with more gravity. Thus, there must be some invisible extra mass that creates the extra gravity. We call that dark matter. More evidence for dark matter emerged over time. Photographs of galaxies showed that the stars are concentrated in the center. And therefore, we expect that the stars motions around the center slows down as we go further out. Surprisingly, the stars were moving much faster than expected. This means there must be more gravity because the galaxy does not fly apart and therefore this extra gravity must be caused by something, something we now call dark matter. The beads represent stars in a galaxy. Let's paint them with watercolor to track them. Let's observe the trails of color created by the beads in water. The beads flow around at similar speed everywhere, both at the edge and in the center of the bowl, because of the uniform distribution of water. That is similar to how stars in galaxies behave. Water in the activity acts like dark matter, causing the gravitational pull throughout a galaxy and thus forcing the stars to orbit at uniform speed. Additionally, the existence of dark matter can be seen through an optical illusion. Normally light travels on a straight path, but when mass curves space, the light ray gets bent. We can see this and use this to measure the amount of mass. We call this a gravitational lens and can be used to measure how much dark matter there is. The candle is a distant light source for example, a galaxy. The glass base represents the effect of something invisible, the dark matter in front of the distant light source. Invisible matter distorts the path of the light before it reaches us. When viewing distant galaxies, astronomers observed strange rings and arcs of light. Despite no observation of mass, the distorted image of the distant light source mimics the gravitational lensing. This indicates the presence of invisible dark matter that is creating the gravity and the phenomenon. Besides matter and dark matter, there's something even more mysterious. We know that the universe is expanding, but it's going faster and faster. 
This is a big surprise and is caused by a mysterious form of energy called dark energy, which makes up 70% of the universe. The balloon acts as the universe full of galaxies, represented by the dots we drew. Let's look at our universe at birth. Everything is compact. The universe has been expanding and the galaxies are still moving apart. The gravity of dark matter and normal matter holds everything in the universe together. Scientists expect the universe would eventually be slowed down by gravity, like the balloon that at some point cannot expand as easily. In fact, the expansion of the universe has become faster. This must be the effect of something else that opposes to the gravity caused by the normal matter and dark matter. This something is called dark energy. In astronomy, there were, are, and will always be unexpected results, which may signal for something new to be discovered. Our view and understanding of the universe continuously evolve with changes and updates in our current knowledge, made by observations, measurements, and theories.